having the Supreme Court say he couldn't be prosecuted, he shouldn't have been prosecuted, we're overturning these convictions because it never should have happened, what might that DA's office be left to do now in Montgomery County? Uh, at this point, I mean, they either accept that decision or the step is to go to the Supreme Court of the United States, and I'm not sure wh which way they're going to go. At this point, Mr. Cosby is free to go. They don't have any other um, complaining witnesses within the statute of limitations in their state. Uh, and it sounds like there aren't any anywhere else. Now, unless states start passing laws extending the statute of limitations in some of these cases, and not necessarily because they're targeting Cosby, but because they're just generally addressing this issue and giving uh, victims of sexual crimes more time to come forward and more time for the prosecution to prosecute these cases, then he's basically walking scot-free. But remember something. Just because Cosby is going to walk scot-free doesn't mean that the Me Too movement uh, has failed. It doesn't mean that the Me Too movement ends. It doesn't mean that victims all over the United States or victims of sexual uh, assaults and rapes uh, are not going to be vindicated. One has nothing to do with the other. The, 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 that continues and will never stop because it's not one defendant. It's not one case that defines a movement. Yes, Cosby was the first probably high-profile individual that was convicted following the Me Too movement and possibly uh, as a result of the Me Too movement. Uh, but we had Weinstein after that, and we could potentially have more people uh, get convicted because now, as a society, we are a little more aware and we are a little more open-minded about the way victims behave after assaults of this type. People are more understanding about people coming out later. So, again, I don't think this decision, the overturning of this conviction, is going to have um, a long-term impact that everybody's fearing. I, I think it's just more about this particular case and the unique circumstances and decisions made in this case.